I'm at Yenzikol or Swallow Gorge. There's lots of swallows flying around everywhere. Because the gorge is so narrow, the wind goes up and then so all the insects fly around and the swallows try to eat the insects. You might even say they try to swallow the insects. Yeah. Holy shit, it's 5.30 a.m. Is this real life? I couldn't fall asleep until like 1.30 or 2. So actually I fell asleep at 10, but when I set my alarm, I accidentally set a one hour timer. So then I woke up and couldn't fall back asleep. F me. The typhoon is gone. I actually really like this time of the day. Holy shit, I can't talk because my brain doesn't work. I actually really like this time of the day because there's very few people out on the streets. I would describe the weather now as extremely pleasant. I was kind of hoping this wouldn't happen, but the first subway doesn't run until 6.02. My train's at 6.20, it's one stop away, but I don't want to take chances. Missed a train already, boys. Not going to do it again. No car so I can jaywalk. Yes, you motherfuckers. Okay, I'm 20 minutes early. Wow, the train said it would land at 8.19. It's 8.19. I'm quite tired. I think we might be scootering there, in which case I'm about to piss my pants. Nah, I'm just kidding. What's up, dog? Scooter on sweet and green tea, and got some onigiri for lunch. That was really fun. Whoa. This rock is called Frog Rock because it's <laughs> shaped like a frog. It's dark and spooky in here. It's a bat. More bats. Water! Mountain! Waterfall! We're inside a dark cave with lots of limestone everywhere. We're in this cave called the Water Curtain Cave. Apparently this is where water leaks through the cave, but it was accidentally made when they tried to make a hydropower plant. Fake nature. I'm not wearing any shoes. Very nice. We just finished the Bayong Trail. This is the trail. Yum. Chain. Chain. Two chains. Yum. We are between the mountains. We've been hiking uphill for maybe 20-30 minutes. It's a pretty hard hike. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Look at that giant spider. Holy crap. Lunch. It's 1.30 right now. We kind of reached the top. I don't know. It's unclear where the trail continues. We are in the middle of nowhere, but there's still internet. Yeah, We just crawled through this jungle like the animals we are. Someone left a lighter here following someone. We're gonna pick up the lighter because we're good people. Those long feathers. Just took a piss here. All these bugs flying around. They want the D. We are trying to climb our way down these rocks. I hope we're going the right way. We've been hiking for maybe two hours. We weren't sure if the path we took was correct, so we had some semi-legitimate worries that we would be stuck in the middle of nowhere, but we finally found civilization. What an adventure. Look at this path. We found this giant bone here. It's pretty mysterious. Whoa, we made it. Somehow we have to get back up there. I think we just climbed up that plus a million more. Or climbed down that. The big thing was that for half the way down, the rocks were super slippery. Another thing was that every 0.1 kilometers, it used to say how many kilometers were left on the trail. And then it stopped saying that, which was bad. Water. Hey mom, dad, I'm being interviewed at the police station. Finally become the son you've always wanted. Police station? There's this river and across the river was a cliff slash mountain where you could get up to the highway. So we needed to cross the river. From our exploration, there's basically no way to cross without getting swept into the river. I had about 10% battery. I tried texting a bunch of people and I ended up texting my boss, Alex. Thank you, Alex, for saving us. We basically called the park select rescue team. All my stuff ran out of batteries, but when I had 1%, Michael realized that he had gotten signals, so I gave his number to Alex. And so I guess they didn't really know how to use the lat long coordinates to find someone. Yep, so then I took a nap on a rock and then we woke up. 
basically the big thing was that we had to get out before sunset otherwise we would have to sleep there in the morning and we didn't have too much water which is dumb because when i was at 7-eleven i was thinking about getting a big water bottle in case we got lost but then i was lazy and didn't want to carry it so i think a tree fell on the real path of the hiking path the moral of the story is if the hiking path seems weird you should turn around this is turning out to be a really long story. The rescue team helped us cross the river using a rope, climbed up to the highway. We gave our details to the police. We sat with this policeman and we talked with this family that lived up there. And then we went back to our scooter and came home. The end. There's a lot of things that we did right and a lot of things that we did wrong. They gave us free apples. Also my first time riding in a police car. Back to the scooter. Oh uh, yeah, bye bye. Michael has brought me to something called the crazy market. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna get crazy. Let's find out. Crazy. There's a rave going on over there. I have no idea what the f is going on. There's a rave and fireworks. Pork and mustard bagel. The crazy market is like the hipster night market. So apparently it only happens once a year for seven days and this is the sixth day. So tomorrow is the last day of the crazy market. Uh, in Chinese it's called Feng Si Ji. Interesting mix of people here. Michael says he came here on Thursday and it was only like rando out there people. But now there's lots of normal people in the crowd. Like us. Or maybe we're the crazy ones. We have four people sleeping in a one bedroom apartment. Let's do it, baby. I think I'm more tired than I've ever been in my life. I'm going to sleep.